Hi, this is Joe from MBS Australia. This is a short video for MBS Chorus showing how to use the prefix and suffix in your content and how to share common clauses between building systems. So I'll enter into my project 55 Beach Street and into the interiors. You'll notice there's lots of prefix and suffix has already been added. Um, this can be for your own in-house uh, spec organization or for division of works packages. Um, to change at any time, for example, you enter into one of the systems and then once you've clicked into the middle of the system, use the pencil icon to amend as you like. Uh, you'll notice here the Uniclass code in gray cannot be changed. Um, you can enter in the prefix and the suffix. Um, the title can be changed if necessary, but it's not ideal um, in terms of then identifying the um, titles later on in the project. It can be reset there if necessary. So in this particular system, particularly for uh, aggregate concrete blocks, I've already got one, for example, here in my spec. I can use the drop down menu to add another one here. Now it's going to add uh, a type A uh, to my project because it's realized there's already one type in there. So it's giving this one a separate clause. A slightly better way to do that is to use the drop down menu again and see that there's now two already in my specification. If I click that button, it opens up which ones I want. I can do a completely new one can use the type A that I've just created, but I might as well use this one if it's the same one I want to do. Uh, it's shared by the masonry internal partition systems. So I could choose that one to add, which will therefore add the same one I've already got. If I was to name those first of all, it would be a slightly better way to go into the aggregate concrete block um, products clause. Again, I use the pencil icon once I've clicked into the clause. And then I could add the suffix, say it could be uh, block work one. Because it's slightly easier for then adding the second one. Because once I come back to the top into the overall system, it's identified that I now have block work one. But to add a second item, I would just then be able to add the second and it will realize and add the block work two. Big help when you're adding lots of uh, tiles in terms of wall tiles, carpet tiles, or building objects with similar, uh, several similar types. So back into the overall specification. Um, you can view and organize your contents by filtering um, to all clauses or just products, for example, up here. And show all clauses. Or in the case of the products I've been making, uh, this can show what you have in terms of the naming suffix where I have several different ceramic tiles in here, which is very handy to add. A very handy part, of course, um, is the sharing of clauses, whereby similar or identical products can be used several times in different systems, as long as you're in the same overall specification, in this case, the interiors. So I'll filter by um, the systems. And in masonry internal partitions, I already have a plasterboard added down here. Um, I can search for that exact same uh, plasterboard to use in the ceilings um, because it's going to be shared between those two different systems. So if we go to the ceilings system, I want to add that exact same plasterboard. I already have some fire resistant gypsum plasterboard here, but as you can see, there's the one in spec option here for moisture resistant gypsum plasterboard and one in spec for the standard gypsum plasterboard. If I click that button, it then gives me the option to use the one that's already in my spec, shared by the gypsum board partition system and shared by the masonry internal partition system. This is already the information I've completed, so I can choose to add that one. Just means now that's shared between the two, and there's a good check when you save and continue, click onto that actual clause link, take you down to the product, and then says as, there, as well they're shared, shared between those two systems. So this probably generates, uh, generates lots of options and questions uh, for the most efficient use of Chorus. So please get in touch with me anytime for a further demo. Thank you.